Hi everyone and happy December. It is time for some festive treats. So today I'm sharing a recipe for the classic cracker toffee. made a version of cracker toffee on my channel a couple of years ago. It was miniature. I used oyster crackers. So I'll leave that in my description box below in case you want kind of a variation on this. But today I'm making the classic traditional cracker toffee recipe. This is so easy and super addictive. In fact, it's oftentimes referred to as Christmas crack. My kids are obsessed with this stuff. I love it. It's saltine crackers with a homemade toffee glaze over top. Then you can coat it in any kind of chocolate you want and put a variety of toppings on it. Super customizable and amazing. If you're new to my channel, welcome and please subscribe. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like this recipe here today. Now let's make some cracker toffee. First, I lined my rimmed baking tray with aluminum foil and then sprayed it very thoroughly with baking spray. Then I took one sleeve of saltine crackers and placed them all over the top of the baking tray. The recipe called for 48 crackers. My sleeve, this was the Aldi brand of saltines, it only had 40, so I used a few extra because my pan was wide enough to fit 48 crackers. Next, I melted two sticks of unsalted butter in a saucepan over medium heat, and then I added in one cup of brown sugar and stirred that all together. I brought this to a boil and continuously stirred it as it boiled for three minutes. I immediately poured this mixture over top of the saltine crackers and then used a rubber spatula to spread it out evenly over top. Now I have two tips here. One, do not eat this caramely sauce. As delicious as it might smell, it is scalding hot, so do not burn yourself on this. Also, I, as soon as I spread out the toffee mixture over my saltines and pop them in the oven, I put hot soapy water into my saucepan just because it's a lot easier to clean when the mixture is still hot. After I evenly spread the toffee mixture over top, these baked at 375 degrees for about seven to eight minutes. Then you remove the crackers from the oven and sprinkle one bag of chocolate chips over top. I chose milk chocolate. I thought that would be the most appealing to my kids, but you could use semi-sweet or dark. And then I popped this back in the oven. It was still at 375, just for about a minute so that they would melt quickly and evenly. Then I used my rubber spatula again to spread the chocolate all over the top. I don't know about you, but this is very satisfying for me to watch. <laughs> it looks so, so good. And then you can stop here or you could add any toppings that you like. On this day, I used some Heath Bar little toffee bits and some Christmas sprinkles. A lot of times people will use crushed pecans. You could drizzle this with some white chocolate. That would look really pretty. Some chopped up candy canes would be festive if you like that chocolate and mint flavor combination. The sky's the limit here with topping ideas, but you can make these super fun and festive. Then once the toppings were on, you want to allow these to cool and then pop them in the refrigerator for a couple hours until they are totally cooled and chilled and everything is set. And then you can break this apart into smaller pieces and enjoy. You can package this up in little goodie bags or just eat it all yourself. It's, as I said, very addicting, so you might wanna give some of this away so you don't eat the whole pan in one sitting, but I think you're gonna love this. It's ultra buttery and sugary. It's very festive, especially if you use those holiday sprinkles, and it makes a great gift or just a treat to have around during the Christmas season. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me over on Instagram at Ant's Family Recipe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my cracker toffee recipe here today. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen and I'll see you again soon.